Today is a special day. That's right, it's Bella's Baby Day! Hi YouTube! Welcome back to our channel! And today is a special Bella's Baby Day. It is a day that we like to get together and show off our Bella's babies. And well, there's a special announcement that goes with this month's Bella's Baby. So before we get started on Bella's Baby Day, a couple of updates is we will be going live on Saturday. Sorry I missed last Saturday, you guys. But sometimes things happen, and well, this Saturday it is on 4.30 p.m. Central for all of my Cloud Insiders, and 5 o'clock p.m. Central for everyone else. And upcoming this week, we do have the Wreck-It Weird Wednesday, and we have Switch Em Up Saturday. And this week for Maddie Monday is, I thought it would be fun to do some crafting again with the Maddies. I enjoy doing crafting. So what is it you guys want to do for fall? Um, I'm going to try to make it more like preschool like crafts. I'm sorry. I don't usually wear my hair down and this is why is I feel like I got hair in my mouth. Anyway, I'm going to make it like maybe some preschooling crafts. Something to that effect. Maybe something with construction paper. I don't know yet. We'll have to see, but I think that would be a fun idea. Is let's do some crafting with our Maddies. And so, besides that, let's see. Oh, and make sure you guys check out my description box below. Because I do have affiliate links for Babeside and also for CapCut, which is the way I edit my videos. And I will make a small percentage off of those codes if you guys use my affiliate links to... Um, Check out CapCut or get you a baby off of Babeside. And so I wanted to say that. And I'm going to go ahead and start scrolling across the screen. How many days we have left to the September giveaway. That's right, you guys. At the end of the month, well, around the 21st is when I'm due to get my YouTube paid out. And that's when I'm going to contribute it back to the community. And we're going to do that September giveaway. So I think that's going to do it. So this month's Bella's Baby Day. I am featuring Hazel and we're going to talk a little bit about Hazel. And i am also had a subscriber request for Eric. <laughs> That's right. But before I show my Bella's Babies, let me go ahead and show you April's Bella's Baby. April just got a new Bella's Baby. So we got her Pascal which we've seen before, but her new Bella's baby is her Maddie. That's right, she got a little girl Maddie. And April, you didn't tell me her name, so I'm not sure of her name, but there she is. Isn't she gorgeous? And Bella just sent her to her this week, this past week. So, yes, that is very exciting. And if any of you have a Bella's baby and you want to share a picture, just go ahead and email it to me, Instagram it to me, um, any way that you guys know, here is all the different ways you guys can get hold of me. And also, here is my email. Also, you guys can get hold of me if you want to share any of your Bella's babies also. And so, these are the two that I went ahead and chose. And we are going to dive down close, and I'm going to go ahead and change Eric. Because the subscriber requested to see Eric's body to know what he is like. So let me lay Miss Hate. Let me lay Eric to the side. Woo! I've got attack of the babies, and let's go ahead and talk about Hazel. Hazel is um, one of my favorite sculpts, which is the Queen Bee, and well, I call it Queen Bee, okay, but it's a Queen Bee or something like that. But I just say Queen Bee because <laughs> she is a Queen Bee in my nursery. And so she started out as a girl, and I named her Hazel. And then I did a switch up Saturday and switched her to a boy, thinking I would like her better. Because in actuality, she does look better as a boy. I'm just going to say it. She does. She looks a lot better as a boy. So definitely I'm going to be getting one in a boy. <laughs> but her personality-wise, I loved Hazel as a girl. And so everybody... Uh, 
thought Hazel was better as a girl. So, we went back to Hazel being Hazel. That's right. And for anybody that doesn't have a Bella's baby, they are full of love. Mwah. Love, love, love. <laughs> and they just make me happy. Bella weights her babies to perfection. It doesn't matter the size. They are perfect. Hazel is like really like almost holding a real baby. And so before we dive down close and take a look at Eric, I want to give a special announcement <laughs> for Bella's baby day. And that is what well, you guys know that once a month I'm going to be doing giveaways on my channel. That's right. I have four dolls in back stock that's ready to go. And then we'll see as the months progress who all comes up for the giveaway. And I'm going to do that on my channel once a month. Well, Bella, for anybody that doesn't know Bella, you guys go check her out over there at Cherubs and Bubs. She's a very generous and giving Dolly sister. She loves the community and she loves us. That's what makes Bella so special is she loves all of us so much. So, Bella had an idea and it's a collab that me and her will be doing together is we are going to, around the time... I say around the time. It could be sooner. It could be later. I don't know the time of the month. Bella is going to pick out one of my subscribers. Me and her is going to talk about the subscriber, the subscriber. And we are definitely going to pick out one of you that's going to receive a Bella's baby that month. And it's going to be somebody that we pick out. Now, with that being said, this is not a competition. This is not a contest. I won't be drawing names for these particular recipients of the Bella's Baby. We're just going to talk about my subscribers and we're just going to let our gut feelings tell us who we want to send a baby to. I hope that's okay with you guys. You never know if your name is going to come up. So I'm not trying to do that. Um, it's nothing that you guys can do. In other words, there's nothing you guys can say or anything that's going to lead us um, a certain way. It's just whatever our heart tells us to do. And Bella is actually going to start doing that over on her channel. She's going to start picking out whatever her gut feeling tells her to pick out to give the baby to. This month we've already picked out a recipient of the Bella baby. And so Bella not only sent one to April, but we also talked about it and we decided to send one to Jessica over there at Jessica's Homestead Life. And, well, the reason that we picked Jessica as a recipient this month is because, well, Jessica's been struggling a little bit with stuff. For anybody that doesn't know, I'm not going to go into details. Um, it's not my, my to do that. I just know that Jessica has been struggling. And, well, I felt really bad because in one of my lives, she talked about how she had to sell all of her babies to make ends meet. And, well, that really broke my heart for Jessica it really did because um, for anybody that doesn't know, my babies are my everything to me. Um, they are my hobby. Um, I do know they're dolls, you guys, but I give them personalities. And the thought of me having to sell my babies, just it, it tears me up. Um, some I could probably part with if I needed to, but I have certain ones that I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> and so it really broke my heart when I heard that Jessica had to sell her babies. So we talked about it. And so this month it's going to be Jessica. And Bella, um, you should be receiving that pretty quick, Jessica, anytime. So that's what we wanted to start doing is we wanted to kind of think of somebody that maybe needs in the community. Um, maybe, you know, there's not going to be a particular reason that we pick. It's what our heart tells us. And this month, our heart did tell us Jessica. So that is an exciting thing I wanted to start announcing is Bella is going to be going through my subscribers and picking out one of you to send her Bella's babies to, along with her giveaways that she does over on her channel. So you guys make sure to go check her out if you haven't already. And so, enough of that. Now, I think we're just going to dive down close. I picked out a couple. I'm not going to change Hazel in this video. I have her dressed in her cute little, oh, sorry, Hazel baby, in her cute little um, Halloween outfit. And so, I'm going to, and this actually belonged to my granddaughter, you guys. And so, it's a very special outfit on a very special baby. And so, I'm going to leave Hazel dressed. 
but we're going to move on to Mr. Eric, and that is right. And well, with Eric, I have got a couple, I've got the one hat and a pair of socks picked out, but I have got a couple of different outfits because I'm not too sure what's going to fit him the best. And so let's go ahead and dive down close and let's go ahead and change Eric. Right, you guys, here is Eric. And he is actually the Amy sculpt, I found out. So let me go ahead and get him undressed. I'm going to try to do this not upside down, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes the upside down videos don't work out so well. Um, anyway, oh, he's got socks on. Okay, I'm going to leave his socks on that he's got on. I didn't know. And I also brought onesies because I can't remember if I have him in a onesie. I should, but you just never know with me. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes, and I do. I have him already in a onesie. So we're going to just leave his little uh, onesie on because the only thing it's covering up is his cloth body. And so, okay, there's no buttons on this. How did I get this on you, little guy? All right, that was horrible. Sorry about that. He is repaired, you guys. <laughs> How did I get this outfit on him? Oh my goodness, that was a blooper. Yes, I will put that blooper at the end of the video. Of what happened to his arm but his arm is back on just fine anyway um make sure I don't take off anything else okay well we probably won't put that outfit back on this boy oh no it didn't fit him right okay anyway so Eric is a three-fourth limb baby here is his little arms and I I don't mind um, three-fourth limb babies personally I don't here's him little feetsies him little chunky legs um I personally don't mind um three fourth limb babies because they're very flexible and you can actually do a lot with them um posable wise so three fourth limbs doesn't bother me um an adult now when I first did start collecting um babies of course um I wanted all, all full limbs, full limbs. So that's what I said I wanted was full limbs. And well, you guys, um, okay, sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Um, I just decided over time, okay, so I don't need this. Yeah, I just rattle. What I started out wanting to dress him in is this little outfit. And I brought another outfit just in case. And if this doesn't fit him, I did bring um, Baby Shark and some blue pants. But if I can put him in this outfit, I want to put him in this one instead. So, let's see about putting a onesie on him. Another little onesie. I know, another one. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Anyway, so I started my doll journey wanting only um, full limbs and full legs. And I still enjoy the full limbs, the full arms and legs. But I also have learned over time that I don't mind the three, the three fourths as much because, um, like I said, they're very poseable. They're very snuggly. His arms move, um, easily. And so making sure, yes, you guys can still see him. And so I decided that it doesn't really bother me. So I'm really indifferent. Um, I don't even mind the fourth limb babies. Because to me, those are like cuddle babies, you know. And so I really enjoy the fourth limb babies. Also, um, I do have over there, where is she? She is down there. But I have Katie, which is my Madame Alexander um, uh, fourth limb doll. I always wanted one. So when my daughter got her for me, I was super excited about it. Because I have always wanted a fourth limb cuddle baby. And I've also got other cuddle babies. I've got my little boy cuddle baby, which is a full-blown. And I've also got my little girl cuddle baby, which is also a full-blown cuddle babies. Um, so, what are you guys' thoughts about cuddle babies? Do you like cuddle babies? I also got my Behringer baby that is a Bella, Bella's baby because she came from Bella. Um, that's a Behringer baby that I turned into a um, cuddle baby. Yes, I did, because I couldn't get her limbs to work. That's a past video you guys could go watch. It was a failure, I call it. All right. 
Yes, there we go. Cover up him little claws. There you go. What do you guys think? Let me scoot him down just a hair. There we go. I know you guys could see him little face. Oh, he says there him is. And I just grabbed a hat. And, well, this is the hat I grabbed. And so we're going to see if it fits him. Because usually any baby I put on, it doesn't fit them right. And then they it looks, oh, this looks cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Here him is all dressed. And him is also all dressed in him dinosaur best. Ah, oh, looky, looky. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's go back up top. Oh, right, you guys. Here we are back. And here, and I'm probably at a different angle. I'm trying to figure out the best way to sit because I want my Halloween decorations to show. Yes, we worked hard on this, you guys, together. You guys watched me do it. So, I'm trying to figure it out. And Trixie's like, what are you doing, Mom? She's going all around me trying to figure out how to sit with me. Anyway, here is what Eric looks like. Doesn't him look so cute? Oh, <laughs> I'm so cute. So, I think that's going to do it for us today, you guys. Um, just a quick little pop in with a couple of my Bella's babies. Um, I would have got all my Bella's babies out, but I just decided to do a couple. And we'll just do that month to month. I'll pick out a few Bella's babies to showcase during Bella's babies. And so, if you like this video, then go on down there and give us that big thumbs up. And, well, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And, well, me and all my cloud kids, we really love you guys. Hazel is... Oh, there we go, sweet girl. She's falling asleep on me. Yeah, she's asleep. She fell asleep, so she was, you know... <laughs> Till the next video, everybody. Bye! Oh, my God. Let me tell you about...